Good morning, and it's Ju Ice. Another Sunday on the rise, and here I am making my aloe garlic and a piece of green pepper mixture for the hair and you can use this you could take some of it and before you wash your face you can clean your face with it just let it sit on your face for like maybe five seconds you know and then you'll wash it off you can google it and see what kind of benefits it's for it's healthy for your skin. I'm going to also use some of this in my hair, but not today because I already did my hair for the week. So I'll just save this and put it in my hair when, you know, it's a hair treatment. You know, it's very good for the hair. I already, I just took all of this and I put it in my magic bullet. I didn't want to do it because the noise affects my video. So... I just finished doing it so this is the result of it this is the liquid and of course I strained it with this strainer right here so you don't get the residue in your hair I already washed it down the sink if you think I'm lying this is part of the magic bullet and this is the magic bullet as you can see I just finished doing what I was doing so I put it back in and right now, you know, I'm making me some, some brunch, you know what I'm saying? But it's going to be like a little healthy stuff today. No kind of meat, nothing like that. I have some Edo's. I bought these yesterday from the pantry. Bajans, we call it Edo's. I don't know what it's called here in the United States, but when I went to the vendor, I said Edo's. I saw them, and he knew what I was talking about. He's Spanish. They know a lot of that. And I have some green pepper in here and some English potatoes. That's the white potatoes, like four of those I sliced up. In the Edo's, you know, I did like five. I sliced them up. We usually have that with soup. And I have an onion. I slice that up. And a few twigs of garlic right here. I slice that up. So I'm cooking that. I'm going to let it boil. And of course, I added my seasoning in there. No salt. And I'm going to let you see what it looked like later on when I'm done. But this is what I'm going to have. For my brunch you know like I said no kind of meat no fish no no chicken no nothing I'm just gonna have that and you know it's healthy for your body you don't always have to put meat in your body and all that kind of stuff you know fish is good chicken but you don't always have to have that you know you can just have this ground pavilion stuff cook it up heat it up whatever and eat it and that's healthy for your body people as you can see I woke up earlier but I didn't start grooming myself yet I was in the kitchen you know making my stuff like I said I do things when my mind tell me to do it so I slept well and I got up and you know, I did a little reading. I always do a little reading, you know, my little Bible verses and stuff like that. You always have to give thanks to the Heavenly Father above. You know, you have to read the Word. You don't have to go to church if, you, if you're not into church. You just have to read the Word, believe in it. You know, you have to believe. There's a church right here by my house. Well, there are three of them, Catholic, Baptist. And this is a Christian church. That's the pantry where I go to, you know. But I don't go to church. I used to. I grew up going to church. And I just decided to, you know, serve my God in my house. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a religious fanatic. But I do believe there's a higher power above. Because that's who 
put you to sleep at night and that's who wake you up in the morning so I do believe there's a higher power more powerful than men because men think they're the higher power but they are not anyway you know I'm gonna get ready now to get take my vitamins and stuff you know I always make sure I get those in you know because we don't always eat the right way so you have to take those supplements so you know moringo is very good I'm not telling all of you to go out there and get this stuff I took I take them you know my doctor didn't prescribe them it's healthy stuff that I get you know but that's how I take care of myself you know what I'm saying you do what you have to do I'm just sharing a little something and I take biotin, you know, like I said, that's for your hair, skin, and your nails. And probi probiotics, those are very good for your body, for your in, in, yeah. ah, indigestion, um, your immune system, you know, it's good for you, period. Google it, Google it, don't take my word for it. Google all this stuff. Google it and you will learn something and you will learn how to take care of your body even much better than you are doing now because a lot of people don't, don't do that. They don't take vitamins. They don't take probiotics. They don't take a lot of stuff. They just eat, drink, and go on doing whatever they do every day, you know, and if you don't take care of this structure right here, this is my castle. I call my body my castle. If you don't take care of it, it's going to go. You have to take care of it. It's like having a dog, a puppy. You know, a puppy is, is a baby and then it grow, grow into a bigger dog. You have to take care of it. You have to clean it. You have to feed it. If it gets sick, you have to go to take it to the vet. It's like a baby. You have to do the same thing. You know, so you do it for yourself. You're, you come first. You have to take care of you first. And if you have these little pets or whatever and children, you do the same to them. You know what I'm saying? Don't abuse them. Don't take advantage of them. That's not cool. It's not. So... I'm smelling my stuff cooking out there on the stove. It's smelling real nice and good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have that later on. I'll let you see what it look like when I'm done. And I have to go groom myself. So I'm going to go now and do that. So wait for the next video, which is the conclusion of what I'm making right now so have a beautiful Sunday people it's going to be here in the 80s in Orlando so ju-ice is saying peace out for now